Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In the last video, we ended up taking our 22.2 volt battery pack and plugging it into our electronic speed control. We ended up leaving the last lead being the negative lead for one test and then we switched that so the last lead that we plug in was our positive red lead. In both cases, it sparked. And the big question here that we're gonna answer is, why do we get that spark? Well, let me bring your attention to our electronic speed control. I have an example here in my hand and what you can tell is that we have, I'm gonna flip it up so we have the right orientation here with our negative lead on the top. We have a couple capacitors that are right here in the center of our electronic speed control. These are the pieces that are important for us for what we're going to be talking about today. Capacitors on our electronic speed control is definitely one of the most important components for our speed control in order to protect the ESC. What they do is they actually smooth out the voltage across our negative and positive leads so that they don't destroy the FETs, which are a component that's inside our electronic speed control. We are not going to be worrying about them for today. We're only going to focus on what we see in this diagram. Now, essentially what happens is as we plug our battery pack into our ESC, power flows from our battery pack into the electronic speed control. And this is where the capacitors fill up to the voltage matching that of the battery pack. Capacitors are essentially going to act as a short circuit for lack of a better way of describing it. As soon as we plug in our battery pack, they are going to fill up to the voltage that our source here is going to supply. And this really does act immediate and very quick. And this is the big reason as to why we get a spark from our last connection point. Now if you have a connector that looks more like this with our positive and negative lead in the same connector and you're plugging both of them in, you still are going to get a spark from this type of plug uh, provided it's not one of the spark arrest type configurations within this plug. So in the last video, it didn't matter whether we plug the negative or positive lead in. And I want to explain a little bit as to why. We already know that we get a spark because power has to transfer from our battery pack into these capacitors. And this essentially happens immediate over a very small split second. And if we plug our negative lead, for example, in last, we still have capacitors that are zero volts and a battery pack that's at 22.2 volts. Upon that last connection, those capacitors have to fill up to the voltage there as we complete the circuit with our negative lead. And if we plug our positive lead in last, we still have capacitors that are at zero volts here because the circuit would be open with this connection not made yet. And voltage from our battery pack has to flow through our completed circuit into those capacitors. And this happens immediately, giving us a spark occurring here when we plug our positive or our negative lead in last. Another area, probably a little more common for many of us that we can see this exact same thing playing out is if we go and plug our battery to our car in. If we plug that negative lead, if we make the connection last, we are going to get a spark from that. And if we do the same thing and have the positive lead uh, placed onto the battery pack from the car on last, we are going to get a spark there. Uh, what's happening is the same idea. There's going to be some components within the car that need to pull power. And as soon as you make that last circuit, you're essentially flicking the switch on so that these things can all be powered up. And that's where you get that spark. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you learned something here on the RC Explained channel. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you in that next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.